What's up, YouTube? This your girl, PK, coming to y'all on this Monday, May 2nd. Today marks 29 weeks and one day. I'm so excited, y'all. I am almost there. I'll be, next Sunday, I'll be 30 weeks, and then nine more weeks later, I'll be having Sakaya. So, I'm so excited. I'm just, like, ready to get my body back. I'm just ready to see her. I'm ready to just... To see who been moving around in me and just like her personality is just like, oh, uh, just it's so exciting. But y'all, I'm telling you, when it's hot and when you're going through all these changes with your body, it's just not the business at all. But I thank God that he blessed me with a chance to have another child. But I'm going to talk to y'all about my symptoms. From 27 to 28 weeks, like y'all, I told y'all before, I was dealing with the swelling real bad. And the swelling has went away. I haven't really suffered with that um, lately. Um, every now and then I may see it in my feet. Every now and then. But I've been doing real good without swelling. I actually, um, the week that I was talking to y'all, I think it was like 25 weeks, 26 weeks, I went for my glucose test. And I passed because I did not get a call. It was more of if you get a call, then you got to come back and do the three-hour glucose. But... I passed because then nobody never called me and um, the drink wasn't even that bad it was um, the orange drink it actually tastes like a flat orange soda so it wasn't that bad back in the day when I had my girls it was red and the drink was just nasty but this time I was surprised I was able to drink it down with no problem I have also been dealing with a lot of back pain and Braxton Hicks contractions I mean they have been coming like crazy. And at one point I thought I was going to have to go to the doctor. I mean to the ER. Which I know all they would have did was just ship me up to labor and delivery. And I would have been on the monitors. They would have probably just told me to take Tylenol for pain or whatever. But um, I actually just stayed at home. And I just like you know just take Tylenol every now and then. And actually what happens is, is it was before a lot. But it's like now. It's like it's kind of being under control. But I'm not able to sleep at night. I toss and turn a lot. I find myself being up late. Um, sometimes I fight my sleep because I be doing other things or whatever. But my husband ended up buying me some um, Tylenol PM. He actually bought it for pain. And I, I was like, okay, Tylenol PM, I know it's going to put me to sleep. So it has been helping me when I do want to get some rest. Um, just pretty much not resting. Um, and being out of breath and let's see her balling up on the side is like i don't miss that because i remember that with my girl so she balls up on the right hand side and it's just like it's like a hurting feeling and like i said the back my back pains be horrible i mean i just like it's unbearable sometimes so i do try to drink a lot of water because i know they said sometimes you gotta drink a lot of water you know it can help you know with the pains and relieve some of I guess the pressure off of you or whatever but another thing that I've been having is that nausea feeling all over again like I was having in my first trimester and so that comes every now and then when I eat I feel like I gotta throw up and I don't I don't crave for anything that's one thing I don't do and then when I eat I get full quick and it's almost like like it was when I was wasn't pregnant it's like I go hours without eating and it's not, it's not because I just do it on purpose. It's like, because it's like I'm not hungry. And I have to realize I am pregnant, so I got to try to put something in my stomach. But sometimes, like, y'all, I just go hours without eating. And then when I do eat, I get full quick. I mean, even if I don't, even if I don't wait those hours, I still, no matter what I eat, I get full real quick. And so, um, I've just been trying to keep a lot of fluid in me, drinking a lot of water, juice, you know, tea every now and then. I have soda every now and then as well. Mainly like Sprites and stuff like that, but not as much. But those are the only things I've been like really battling with or whatever. But I'm so ready to, to get on the ball with getting my body back because y'all, I sometimes I walk slow as Manassas. When I say slow, sometimes I look like a grandma walking. And it's just like, I don't know. I'm just ready to get my speed back walking. I'm ready just to be able to do a lot of things like I can't even bend over and tie my shoe if I want if I wear shoes that I gotta tie you know it's like me putting on my clothes I gotta use one hand I gotta hold my pants and put 
like lean over to put my foot in my it's just a lot y'all it's just like my husband thinks it's so funny you know and it's like i'll be out of breath and all that like now i'm just talking and i'm like feel like i'm out of breath but um i'm actually um in the midst of trying to get stuff together for my baby shower i'm actually having my baby shower june the 11th and that's a month away from um when i have zakaya and so i'm not doing it myself i did you know i my mom and my sister-in-law are going to be doing it um but i did pick up some things because i wanted to get the ball started or whatever my theme for my baby shower is monkey girl and so if y'all have noticed i don't know many people that have not had kids or many people that have kids y'all notice that monkeys are like um real popular lately and so i noticed it a long time ago like in my early weeks of me being my early months of being pregnant and so um i'll show y'all a picture of actually what um the monkey girl that i like and and also the colors i'm going with is um pink and pink and chocolate those are actually the same colors i use for my wedding and so i found the perfect monkey girl and it's in pink and chocolate and so then i went and i went to the store and i got some things um that doesn't have monkey on it but it's pink and chocolate because a lot of things on the website that i was looking at is kind of expensive but um my sister-in-law is going to be looking into that for me some of some of the items and then i was at target and doing my baby registry because i have baby registry at target and at baby r us and i was so happy to be in the section where if you first walk in you know in target they have the dollar section and so some stuff all the things ain't a dollar but majority of the stuff is like a dollar or maybe two dollars and some change or whatever bloom and they had all this stuff on sale oh sorry a monkey um, a monkey balloon a monkey pillow and actually it's 250 but everything was 50 percent off in the section and i have a monkey book i thought this was so cute when i seen it i was like oh my gosh like so cute and it doesn't have lines on the papers but i um will use this for like um all the things that i got like when we play different games if they need to write something down something like that but i just love this book and it's so soft y'all so soft i found a little monkey little monkey girls and i was like oh so cute and it has a little pink thing in her hair so cute i've seen these i know of course you know she can't wear these no time soon but i just got these because they're so cute monkey slippers and then i have a monkey a monkey carpet monkey little rug so i thought that was cute and i pretty much got it all for 750 well it was 808 pretty much so i saved seven dollars and fifty cent on all of it i thought it was cute and so then like some of the things i got for my baby shower um i have a bunch of these napkins it says baby on it pink and chocolate and i have um invitations is the same type of um thing it ha the picture and all that is the same color everything for the invitation my sister-in-law has those and i have tablecloth i have got one tablecloth and that's probably going to be used for like the cake table the cake table and um and i seen these and i thought these were cute i got two of these and they're candles with baby body baby bottles on them so cute i thought those was cute and i have a banner i end up getting a banner banner so it's the same thing got the baby carriage on it and then i was there and i was like okay the lady was telling me they have balloons so i said you know what i said i could wait because i got this stuff in virginia i was like i could wait and just if i come back i'll just grab the balloons but some just said no i need to buy them now so i got about 10 balloons because i'm gonna have like 10 round tables for my baby shower so i thought i might as well get the balloons as well and so i have a lady doing 
my table centerpieces, which is she's doing them in monkey balloons. And then what she's gonna do is use the this these balloons, and then she's gonna put chocolate and pink balloons around it. And those are gonna be the centerpieces on the tables. So, and then she's doing a lot more other um, decorations and balloons. So, pacifiers and um, it's a quite a bit of things she's gonna be doing for me um, with the balloons. But I'm gonna show y'all a picture of the monkey girl and some of the stuff that um, that that you can get with it. I know I'm doing cupcakes as instead of a cake I'm doing cupcakes but I said I wanted a small cake and then I wanted cupcakes so I was like I my sister-in-law found this um, website and this lady she's um, gonna she's supposed to be calling her to find out how much is her cake because the lady has a pink and chocolate cake and it has a monkey on it and then at the bottom is a bunch of cupcakes and I thought it was so cute I said oh my god just what I had envisioned that I wanted so I'm going to show y'all a few pictures so y'all check this out. So y'all tell me what y'all think i'm excited about it i'm ready for it and i'm just believing god that i that we be blessed beyond blessed with things for the baby shower i'm just excited and i give y'all an invitation as well you know i will be making one soon for youtube so if y'all want to you know contribute or if any of you want to you know you know purchase anything for the baby I will give y'all my information. You can inbox me if you would like it now, or you can wait until I do a little um, invitation on YouTube, and then I can give my information um, in, in the inbox, and y'all can go ahead and go from there. I'm so ready for her to come. I'm just, um, I'm not rushing it because I want her to come when she's supposed to come, but I'm just excited. Oh, Easter Sunday, we did a dance. And I, um, that's when I had just turned seven months. And um, feel more, feel free to go look at that video if y'all have not seen that. I thought that was an awesome dance. Of course, I'm a choreographer in the dance. I've made it up, and I have some excellent dancers, and I just thank God for that. Um, but y'all check that out and tell me what y'all think. But other than that i want to say thank you to the subscribers that i've gotten in a couple of weeks and i want to say thank you for all everybody that supports me um once again and thanks for all the love and the shout outs that i get as well and that's pretty much it y'all i'm just excited and so i want to show y'all a belly shot of what i look like now at 29 weeks So everybody's just like, are you sure you're not going to come before July? You sure you're not having twins? And and then a lot of people been asking me, you, have you, what are you having? Are you having a boy? And I'd be like, a girl, no. And one girl told me at Walmart, I told her I was having a girl. She said, no, you're not. She said, you got to be having a boy because you are too pretty. And because girls make you ugly. So you got to be having a boy because you are, you look so pretty. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> you know, um, I've heard of that and I've read that before, but my girls didn't make me ugly. I still had, you know, my beauty. You know, I just still my skin was still smooth and everything. Yeah, every now and then I have little bumps that come up, but you know who doesn't. But anyways, um, that's pretty much it. But I know y'all can probably hear my girls. I got to get to them because they be I don't know what they're in there doing. But I'm gonna go ahead and go. So I will see y'all probably in a couple of weeks. Comment, rate. Well, it's no longer rating. Comment and thumbs my video. Subscribe and tell someone about my channel. Y'all have a blessed and lovely week. I Hopefully, y'all weekend was great. Y'all know Mother's Day is coming up soon. So, y'all have a happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there that have children. Um, I want to say happy Mother's Day just in case I don't get a chance to say it. And so, I will talk to y'all next time. Bye.